The Supreme Court jumped into the heated debate over transgender rights Monday. The justices agreeing to hear a case from the Biden administration challenging state bans on gender affirming care. Wendy Griffith has more. 25 states have passed bans on gender affirming care, and several are on hold due to litigation. The case before the high court involves a Tennessee law that prohibits transgender minors from receiving puberty blockers, hormone therapies, and invasive surgical procedures. The Biden administration and some parents claim the law prohibits what they call life saving treatment. Welcome back to the cross reference. You heard it. You heard it once again. Here we go with the Supreme Court to make a decision that really affects some some major stuff. Thank you for joining me today. Do all the cool things. Subscribe, hit the bell so you know when new content comes out and like and share this if you like it. Yeah, but you heard me right. Um so if we go over here to NBC, or is it M it's yeah, it's NBC News, the Supreme Court to weigh state restrictions on gender affirming care for youth. The court is expected to hear oral arguments and make a ruling in its coming term, which starts in October and will end in June of 2025. Let's see here. Scrolling down, the Supreme Court on Monday waded into the cultural war debate over gender-affirming care for transgender minors by agreeing to resolve challenges to a law in Tennessee that seeks to restrict it. I see you, Tennessee. I see you. I see you. We're watching. And we're praying. The justices will hear a Biden administration appeal of a court ruling that held uh, that upheld the measure. Oral arguments and rulings are expected to be in the court's next term, blah, 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 blah. We already read that. The case marks the first time the court, which has a 6-3 conservative majority, it, take that with a grain of salt because we just talked about how the Supreme Court um, basically said that yeah, states can, you know, back in 2022, they said states can make any law pertaining to um, abortion that they want to in their own states. Ah, 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 ah. But as of June 13th, they're like, oh, but you, the one thing you, you can't regulate is, is um, the, the medication that is getting mailed to people, regardless of state, that causes abortion. Anyways... Moving on, so take the conservative majority in the Supreme Court with a grain of salt, you know. I don't know, maybe I'm being nihilistic, maybe I'm being black-pilled. But anyways, um, this marks the first time that the court, which has a 6-3 conservative major majority, will issue a ruling in the battle over transgender rights for teenagers. Okay, well I'm going to say there's no such thing. But okay, which has raged in both the healthcare and educa education contexts. Um, okay, why do I say that there's no such thing? I mean, because youths need to grow up. Youths need to. They're 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 children. There's a reason why. There's a reason why we have laws pertaining to um, minors and adults, and and and, and, and you have to put, you have to put a, an obvious year on when you become an adult. Now, some people are different than others. You can be an 18 year old who is who is ready to hit hit the world running and be completely successful and mature. And and there's also a lot of 18 year olds out there who who you would think just turn 12. Let's be honest. But uh, legally speaking, there needs to be a line drawn, right? You an, an, are an adult at 18. And as being an adult at 18 in this country, now you are granted certain rights because now in the, in the eyes of the government, of the law, you are now you are now considered an adult and able to make your own decisions, okay? Like, well, actually, it used to be 18, but it's 21 now to buy cigarettes. 21 to buy alcohol. Insurance companies for, for males, when, they, you know, when, when they're getting um, uh, liability insurance for their vehicle, 
they, 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 their rates are extremely high until they hit 25 because insurance companies know that males in particular, until they hit about 25, they're very, um, they're very uh, thrill seeking behind the wheel, shall we say. They're very um, aggressive, risky, they're careless. Not all, but males, men, on the on the broader side, yeah, we like we like cars, and insurance companies know this. Um, Eighteen to sixteen to get your driver's license. Eighteen to um, get a tattoo, because these things matter, and you 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 don't want children making a decision that they'll regret later on in life after they go through puberty, after they mature, after so many things. And if we're talking about puberty, that has a huge effect on a child's, um, let's just, their sexual development. But you have states like Tennessee stepping up, and there are many more, um, but you have states like Tennessee stepping up and saying, yeah, we're not going to allow this type of um, medical procedures or medical in interventions on these type of ide ideologies until the child is now an adult. And then if they still want to do that, okay, right? That's called, the, uh, you know, that's called freedom. You're an adult. As long as you're not harming somebody else and you're not, you know, in this country, you have the freedom to do so if you want. You know, I don't recommend it. I God doesn't recommend it. It's nothing. It's nothing to that, that God would appreciate. But you have the right in this country to do so if you want. Once you're an adult, and Tennessee stepping up and saying we, we you know, we, we we won't we won't allow this on uh, to be done un until you're. An adult and they're not the only ones I saw this uh, this map right here and it's cool you can pause this video and take a look but it just it just lays out throughout the country of the United, of the United States um, who allows it no matter what and actually protects it completely and, and in some states will take your children away from you and getting get involved if you as a as a parent say no I'm not doing this but your child's like I want it done, but the parents like, no, I'm not doing this. The, the, the state will get involved. Yes, yes, they will. There's certain states that will do that. They're, I guess you would call them sanctuary states for gender affirming care. I don't know, um, but you also have states uh, with the uh, with the red triangle and the exclamation mark. Uh, it says states ban uh, state ban makes it a felony crime to provide certain forms of of best practice medical care for transgender youth and then you got other states that that are very very restricted on it all um as well but tennessee stepped up and apparently um the biden administration's like nope we're going to court and once again we're sitting here with the um a very serious issue on the table for the conservative supreme court yeah i say that with air quotes because Give me a break. After their last ruling about the abortion pill, I'm kind of black pilled on their upcoming decision on this. So, the point of this segment, just to inform you, this is going to be heard at the Supreme Court level. And the major point is to pray. Christian, brother, sister, in all sincerity, um, sometimes we get to, to the point to where we're like, you know, you're prayed out. You're prayed out. Maybe you haven't seen God's um, intervention much. Maybe you haven't seen God move on your behalf much. And I, 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 I kind of want to come to you with a testimony. There were there were major major fires in um, Ruidosa, New Mexico, and, and I, I can look it up real quick. Ruidosa. Uh, fires. Let's see if I can find it real quick. There were major, major fires in um in Ruidoso. Am I saying that right? I don't know, but yeah. And we we uh the men at my um 
uh, we we have this uh, we have we have a, a chat thread a text thread where it's just it's just it's simply for prayer and sharing scripture and just and it's 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 fellowship but more than more times than not the main subject is okay hey we need to pray for this we need to pray for that such and such happened so that so and so is going through this let's pray and James says the prayer um, the, the the prayers of a righteous man availeth much. They, they prevail much, and, and women. And I kid you not, we saw a major, uh, I've seen two miracles in the last, I think, month just from prayer. I've seen tumors just gone. They're gone because God's people got together and prayed earnestly, disappeared. And I bring up these fires because um, dear friend of our church has a home. They, are, they, they, they were out of state, but they have a home in this area. And it was dangerously close. And the fires were not not being able to be put out. They were not being put out because the, 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 the emergency responders could not handle it. They just couldn't handle it. So we kept praying. And we kept praying. And the first night, we, I, uh, me and my wife prayed. The next day on my way home from work, I prayed again because it's just not stopping. The fires are not stopping. And on my way home from work in the car, I said, Lord, I don't know what to do at this point, God. I'm, I'm, I've seen you do it once a few weeks ago. Do it again. I don't know what to do. I don't know what you can do, but you can do it. You can do it. Do a miracle. I just pray, do a miracle, Father. Be glorified. So that we can sing your praises. So I can get on my channel and be like, this is what the Lord did. Okay. That was, um, I think that was Friday. Saturday morning I wake up and I'm getting a text in, 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 our, in, our, um, in our text thread. The winds have shifted. The fire isn't, isn't traveling in the, in the direction of our, um, this person's home anymore. It's, the winds have started blowing and shifted in the opposite direction or holding the flames steady. Now at this point, we're getting updates that the fire is like one block away from this person's home. And so when I read that, my a whole entire family went into prayer real quick. Like, and I, and I texted, guys, don't stop now. I'm going before, I'm going before the throne of God right now with my family. If you can join me right now. Let's let's bombard the throne room of God right now. And I prayed we, with my family. We prayed. And after we said amen, my phone went off a couple times during the prayer. After we said amen, I looked at my phone. No, what, no, no rain was, was, was coming in the forecast. No rain was, was, was projected to, to be coming in the forecast. But guess what? It started raining. In Ruidoso, New Mexico. Started raining. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And about five or six, maybe ten minutes later, another text. They are now under a severe flash flood warning. I'm just like, I got chills right now. God is still in the miracle business. But we have to pray. And he's not going to answer every single one. You know, we, 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 we prayed for safety for everybody involved in this, these fires. We, and for those who lost homes, we prayed for, 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 for God to provide for them. Through, through uh, government assistance, for, from, from the community, from people, from fellow Christians, whatever. Yes, we pray for everybody, the whole situation, but specifically for this person's home, and God did it. And it's just like, why do I say all this? Because sometimes we may see this news, we may see this type of stuff, and we might just be like, what is the point anymore? God's not done. And what the, the, the type of things we see happening in our culture today and in the world abroad, it breaks his heart. 
it angers him. God is just, so therefore sin, sin angers him. It breaks his heart because sin put his son on a cross. And that's why he did it. So that we can be redeemed of the sin that angers him so much that he must have justice on. We can be forgiven by Christ's actions on the cross. But don't give up. Let's pray on this. This the the the, the Supreme Court made it six out of three, six to three conservative majority, whatever that means anymore. Let's pray on this. Let's pray for our country. Let's pray pray for our leaders. Let's pray on this specifically. And let's pray for our brothers and sisters. God's not done. And prayer is powerful. Remember, once again, do all the cool things. And I know you will because I know you're cool people. And I will see you on the next one. We got some stuff coming up um, very soon. I think we're I, I think we're gonna start um, I think we're gonna start being a little bit more consistent on our video output. Pray for that too if you feel like it. <laughs> That's not really an important one, but um, and in the comments, uh, leave, leave anything in the comments that you that you uh, that you want to leave. Let's have a conversation. Anyways, remember, whether you eat or drink, do it all to the glory of God. And I'll see you guys later.